Hi, welcome to today's edition. I didn't do that right at all. Hi. <laughs> Tea. <laughs> today is full of shenanigans. Oh, God. Hi, welcome to today's episode of the Curated Crayon. We're going to have some fun with watercolors. So what you actually need is just some basic watercolors. They can be your nice washable watercolors. You will need salt in a shaker and you will need some heavy duty paper. I like to use watercolor paper. I do buy mine at the local discount store. It comes in like a nice pack like this. You get a big sheet. What I did was cut mine into four squares for today to kind of maximize what I use. If you don't have watercolor paper, a heavy cardstock may work as well. Ideally, white tends to work really well too. Um, and if I haven't said it already, it's the salted watercolor today. So here we go. I'm gonna take my fun little paintbrush here and gonna dip it in the water. Now, when you do these, you want a very wet paintbrush. And you want to dip it in one color at a time and rinse in between colors. So I'm going to do just two colors on this right now. I think I'm going to do an orange and a blue. And you want to get them nice and wet. You want to really saturate them. This. Add a little more water sometimes as you go. Because this is going to be so cool because we are going to add salt to them. All right, we got a little bit of orange going here extra water. All right, rin time to rinse our brush because now we're going to go for a whole nother color. Now I'm going to grab some blue and tie it in to our picture. And we're going to move quickly with this because we don't want our paint to dry out on us because our salts that we're going to shake on over this is going to need it to be really wet. Here we go. I'm going to leave my paintbrush in the water. I'm going to grab my little salt shaker and I'm going to shake it over my painting. Shake, 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 shake. Now you want to make sure when you do this, you have a surface that's okay to work on, that's okay to dump salt on because you're going to need to clean up when you're done. Ideally, it would be nice if we can do these all outside. And you're going to set it aside. Now these do take a while to dry. I won't lie. So you have to be very patient as you wait for them to be done. Now, as you can see back here, I have a bunch of examples to show you that I did. So what happens when the salt actually hits the color is it crystallizes and spreads itself out. So the wetter your paper is, the more it's going to crystallize. I'm going to do one more to show you. I mean, this time we'll go make it even wetter. So I think this time we'll do some green. And you want to keep it just to a minimum of a couple of colors, maybe three or four at the most. Make sure they're bright colors. And as I always say, try to put a mat down underneath here. Now you guys always see me working on my glass table, so I don't typically put a mat down because it cleans so easily. I'm actually adding a little extra water to this one so we can get a really cool effect. And again, it does take a long time for it to dry still. And then we're going to add a cool yellow. Really fun, really easy. You're going to find you might want to do a whole bunch of these and make a series of them. The size that I cut my paper into is almost like postcard size, so you could even give some as postcards. There we go. Nice and wet. And then quickly, quickly, I'm going to put my salt on them. Oh, yeah, this one's even coming out a little better because I definitely use a little more water. If you're concerned you didn't use enough water the first time around when you painted, it is okay to just make sure your brush is clean and kind of just dip a little more on. I know it might mix with your salt a little bit, but that's all right. And just dip a little more salt on. And sometimes you just have to be really patient when you do this too, because it takes time for it to dry for the effect for it to show. That is a simple lesson in how to do a salted watercolor. I hope you have fun with it and make lots of them. And good again, this is good for kids and grown-ups. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time on the Curated Crayon.